when something bad happens to me, many of the time, I think, is this a curse? Is this a test? What is God trying to teach me through allowing this or these bad things? Yes. What is God trying to teach me through allowing these bad things to happen to me? You can't believe that whatever is happening to you is a coincidence. You can't continue believing that. Everything that happens, happens for a reason. Even if it seems very tiny, it is happening for a reason. There is a spiritual reason for everything. Until you understand that, chances are you are going to continue making the same mistakes over and over again. Why would you continue to pet a dog when that dog bites you each time? Why would you believe, hey, this is a coincidence. Let me pet that dog again. But it bites you every time, just about. Obviously, that dog is biting you for a reason. The risk of petting that dog is higher than the reward that you may seek for from petting that dog. So it is not worth it. Sinning against God is not worth it because the risk is higher than the reward by far. So you are going to be paying more. Why would you pay five times as much for an item when it is not worth it? The car cost $5,000, but you are going to pay $20,000. That is crazy. Why are you overpaying? Ignorance, ignorance, ignorance is always going to cost you. <laughs> I am telling you, why continue repeating the same mistakes over and over and over again? When you can read the Bible <laughs> and have a much better life. This is no coincidence. Yes, you like to sin and do as you please, okay, but the punishment is much higher than the reward that you receive from doing what you want. So you are overpaying so much for something that is not worth much at all. Sin is not worth it. Please listen to me. The reason why you may believe that serving God is boring or whatever else, because you don't know. You are looking through the eyes of ignorance. Your perception is off. Your understanding of spiritual things is really non-existent, as it seems. I am not saying that I am this smart guy or anything like that, but what I am saying, you are trying to understand things of God, things of God through sin, which is not going to work. Let's go to Proverbs chapter 12. Verse 2, to the left is the King James Version, to the right 
is the expanded Bible. A good man obtaineth favor of the Lord, but a man of wicked devices will he condemn. So what is that saying there? Let's look up favor. Let's go to number two. An act of kindness beyond what is due or usual. So God is going to give you that when you obey him. Let's go below. Often used in polite requests. Give someone something that they want. Okay. So a good man or woman obtaineth favor of the Lord. So when you are following God's rules and regulations, you are going to have God's favor upon your life. So when you look at your life and say, why is this happening? Why is that happening? What is going on? Why are so many bad things happening to me? First, you have to ask yourself, am I in sin? If you are in sin, okay, a good man obtain the favor of the Lord. So if you want God's favor, what is the saying? Follow his rules and regulations. Uh, Kevin, what is going on with me? You know, this is happening, that is happening, blah, blah, blah. Okay, Proverbs 12 and 2. Are you following the rules and regulations of the Bible? If you aren't, okay. <laughs> so do you believe that the Bible is going to change just for you, but it is going to stay the same for everyone else? So the rules are only going to apply for particular people and not for you? That is crazy. That is crazy. So if you want God's favor upon your life, if you want good things of God, what this is saying, change. Just because you see a person with a big house and many cars and a whole bunch of women or dudes or anything like that doesn't mean that they are blessed. Because if you were to see what is going on in their head or if you were to see how their life truly is, you are going to find that their life, chances are, is cursed, full of chaos. All rich people are not blessed. Having earthly things doesn't mean that you are blessed. I know in some churches may make you think that that is true, that you are blessed when you have so much things. That is not true. Because there are people out there who have nice things, but they have no peace. They have no love. They may not have understanding. What is riches without peace? What is riches with bad health? How can you enjoy what you have when you don't have the attributes of the Holy Spirit? Kevin, all I need is a whole bunch of money and all my problems are going to go away. No. It is not the money. It is you. And when you learn that, your life is going to change. Money is never the problem. It is always, chances are, the person.
So let me stop here. So if you want to be blessed by God and I not and I am not saying being blessed is being rich. No. When I gave my life to God, I did not really have peace. I did not really have love. So when I came to God and started to grow more in God, I am experiencing things I have not experienced in so long. So receiving the attributes of the Holy Spirit is light years better than having a lot of possessions by far. Because you may believe that, hey, as long as I am rich, I don't care about peace. Are you serious? <laughs> Let me stop here. God bless you.